Hello and welcome to this course on getting started with VSCL for Microsoft Excel. VSCL stands for Visual Studio Tools for Office. With VSCO, we can add new features to extend what Excel can already do. Excel comes pre-built with thousands of features and functionality, but if you want to do more, then this is where a tool such as VSCO comes in. For example, if you want to automate repetitive tasks, auto-generate reports, or build custom forms, then we can use VSCO. If you want to customize the ribbon or add a new task pane with functionality, then we can use VSCO. We can make Excel do so much more with VSCO. This course requires that you are familiar with Microsoft Excel, Visual Studio, and have intermediate programming skills in C Sharp. This course is divided into seven sections. In the first section, we will discuss what is VSCO and the best practices for when to use it. In the second section, we will cover setting up your environment so you can have everything you need to develop your Excel solution. Third section, we cover the types of Excel solutions. When we develop an Excel solution, we will either create an add-in or a document level solution. This section will cover the differences between them and how to create one. In section four, we discuss the Excel model. We will give an overview of the various Excel objects and cover examples of how to use them. Specifically, we will cover the workbook, worksheet, and range object. These particular objects are the heart of VSCO programming. In section five, we cover customizing the ribbon in more detail. The ribbon can be customized to suit our needs, and here we discuss how to do that. In section six, we discuss creating your own task pane and how to customize it. Finally, in section seven, we discuss deployment and how to distribute your Excel solution to users. What is VSCO? Well, VSCO stands for Visual Studio Tools for Office. With VSCO, you can develop solutions to customize Office applications and add specific features to extend what the application can already do. VSCO can be used to extend Excel, Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, Project, InfoPath, and Visio. VSCO solutions are developed with Visual Studio and the Donna framework to create applications that are called Office solutions. In this course, we are only going to focus on creating Office solutions for Excel, hence we say Excel solutions. So why use VSCO? Well, when we use VSCO, we can take advantage of the Dynet framework and Visual Studio design tools. The Dynet framework has a vast library of classes and collection of functions that make developing faster and much easier. There are so many APIs available that you won't have to build everything from scratch. Also, with the Dynet framework, we can utilize object-oriented programming for coding efficiency. We can choose between C Sharp or Visual Basic when using VSCO. In this course, as mentioned before, we will use C Sharp. The Dynet framework offers increased security and safety, which works great in an enterprise environment. Then, of course, there's Visual Studio. Visual Studio is considered the best overall integrated development environment, or IDE. It has tools such as IntelliSense and integrated debugging capabilities. All things considered, developing Excel solutions with VSCO offers time-saving benefits that can produce maximum results. Now, let's compare VSCO to other Excel development tools. The most comparable tool is Visual Basic for Applications, or VBA. VBA is a programming language for Office applications, including Excel. The table on the right highlights the differences between VBA and VSCO. Looking at the code base, VBA uses code that is connected to and persisted with a specific document. VSCO uses code that is stored separately from any document. For both document level customization and the added solution, the code is stored in an assembly. An assembly is partially compiled on a code. For document level customization solution, the assembly loads when the file is open. For add-ins, the assembly will load when the application starts. 
This means for VBA, the code is part of the document, and we can see it when we open the file. For VSCO, we are not able to see the code for document level customization or add in solution. Contrasting them to the office object model and which APIs they use, we see that VBA works with the office object model and VBA APIs. VSCO also works with the office object model and the .NET framework APIs. What about the development process? VBA is best suited for macro recording and a simplified developer experience. VSCO is designed for security, easier code maintenance, and the ability to work with the full capabilities of Visual Studio. In the area of security and deployment, VBA has limitations as it doesn't offer much for security and deployment and is not well suited as an enterprise software solution. VSCO, on the other hand, is well suited for the enterprise as it offers robust security and deployment features. To sum things up, use VBA when you need to utilize macro recording or need a simplified development experience. Use VSCO when you need a robust development experience that benefits from the full resources of Visual Studio and the .NET Framework. Also, use VSCO when security and deployment are important. Office add-ins are Office solutions written in HTML, CSS, or JavaScript that are run in Office across multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac, iPad, and in a browser. It differs from VBA or VSCO in that it doesn't involve code that run on the user's device or in the Office clients. The main benefits of Office add-ins are they are cross-platform, they have centralized deployment and administration, also, you can make your solution available to a broad audience by submitting it to the app source, which is the Microsoft App Online Marketplace. Finally, it is based on standard web technology. If any of these benefits are important to your offer solution, then choose an Office add-in instead of VBA or VSTO. Now, let's look at XLL files. They are dynamic link libraries used to extend the functionality of Microsoft Excel by providing additional features such as custom functions, dialog boxes, and toolbars. They can be used to create dialog boxes and toolbars, but the main reason would be to create high-performing worksheet functions. Developing them is rather complicated, and it doesn't offer any of the high-level rapid development features of VBA or VSCO. It requires low-level programming in C and C++. There is, however, a third-party library to develop them with the .NET framework called Excel DNA, which makes creating them much easier. In conclusion, VSCO is a great Excel development choice that offers the benefits of Visual Studio, integration with the Office object model, the .NET framework, and security. Its unique features make it a robust Excel development tool. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Please check out video number two that covers setting up your environment and creating document level and adding solutions.